What's up guys? The other day while I was editing one of my videos, I saw this commercial for Burger King that made me go, hey, this is what you guys should have done instead of making a Whopper out of dog shit. If you haven't seen the commercial, it's basically Mason Ramsey, yes, the Walmart kid, singing a song about Burger King's new initiative to cut down on the pollution their cows make. Now at first when I saw this, because it is like a a two minute commercial, I thought I had accidentally changed channels because I was watching South Park and then all of a sudden a country music video started playing. It wasn't until I saw these burgers at the end of the commercial that I say to myself, oh, all right, BK about to open a theme park and be that one step ahead of McDonald's they've always been trying to be. Well, it wasn't so much of a theme park, but more of an ad for Burger King and what the song was saying, well, obviously it's an ad for Burger King, but what the song was saying was that they did a scientific study to and found out that lemongrass helped helps reduce the amount of methane that cows release when they fart, burp, and shit. Mostly just shit, I think. And I know what you're thinking, but trust me, the song is well made and isn't really made for grown people to be like, wow, I learned a lot from this. And if you really think about it, BK did not have to do this after they already added horse shit to their menu as if any real vegan is gonna eat that. Any vegan that eats the Impossible Whopper likes to fuck horses. I know, why did I bleep that out? Why do they fuck horses? But now, why am I bringing this up to you? You guys don't care about fast food as much as I do, and if you think you do, you don't. See, I thought this was a cool thing that BK did, seeing as that children don't really understand the meaning of having a plant-based burger and how that helps. I thought this was a dope way that Burger King was letting them know they're trying to make a difference. And like I said, they didn't even have to do this. Burger King could give two shits about vegans, but guess what? They gave you one of those shits when they made this atrocious thing a menu item. And just to be nice, because I'm assuming of everything that's going on, they're like, look, we'll give you that one other shit, but our company runs on meat. It's in the name. So here's what we could do. We'll find a way to cut down the pollution we make because I don't think you want to tell 35,000 people they don't have a job anymore because you thought switching out the Whopper for this synthetic Krabby Patty was a good idea. And guess what? They said no. When I read you these comments, or these comments on the left on the videos, we're all generally ne genu general generally negative. Did I even say that right? Generally negative. Actually, they were so negative, the English and Spanish version of the music videos both have their comments turned off, but luckily the BTS video didn't. Not this BTS. I hate Asian. So here are some of the top comments. This honestly seems like a ridiculous joke. Really? What kind of jokes are you being told, and why are they in the form of a two-minute song? You might want to get some funnier friends, asshole. With all these companies getting totally stupid, it's making it easier not to shop. What does that even mean? And how are you comparing Burger King to a place you shop at? Are you that poor to where Burger King is both your retail and grocery store? You probably smell like chicken fries and cat piss. Being from South Louisiana, this severely offends me. Well, you being from South Louisiana severely offends me. And you spelled severely wrong, dumb shit. You spelled severally. Who in the blazes made this crap? It smells like Cortez cow pie. Now, I don't know about you, but that Cortez cow pie sounds like a racial slur. Report. Burger King makes virtuous commercial about excessive methane from cows farting. Meanwhile, they are one of the largest producers of hamburgers made from millions of cows that fart. Shake my head. Did you even watch the commercial, Brad? I'm assuming since your name is Brad, you didn't and you just assume everything you say is right. Don't forget, you also have a very small penis. How do I know? I've seen it. We all have. There is another channel that randomly uploaded the video like the music video, I don't know why, but the comment section is basically the same. This is so bad. Nice propaganda you got there. 2020 just keeps getting worse. This guy again. So now they're going to poison the grass? Who let this retard have Wi-Fi? My favorite comment though is a reply to Brad's comment. It says, they are racist too. In 15 years, I never saw a white employee. I finally had to quit going because they couldn't hire a Mexican that spoke English and they couldn't get my order right in the drive-thru. Yeah, that makes sense. They're racist because they didn't hire white people. Maybe that says something about the white people in your area. They're getting beat out by Mexicans who can't speak English for jobs that a 16 year old can get. This guy also likes to fuck horses. Now at this point, you're probably like, you can't just talk about the commercial like this and not show us any of it. And I will, but I'm just trying to figure out if Burger King seems like the person who would block my video or just copyright claim it. There's only one way to find out, right? When Cal 
See, that wasn't so bad, considering that it was obviously made for a younger audience. But you know how I know these people who are leaving hate comments didn't watch this whole commercial? Because if they did, they wouldn't leave dumbass comments that get shut down by this one statement at the end of the video. Since we are part of the problem, we are working to be part of the solution. Basically telling these idiots, yeah, we know we're one of the leading producers of hamburgers, you jackass. Can you not fucking read? But since we're tired of hearing you guys bitch and complain, we're actually doing something unlike these other fast food companies who I shan't mention because I love all of them equally. Like all these people calling this commercial stupid have no reasonable alternative alternative for BK other than not selling meat altogether. That's like saying since we can't stop gun violence, we're just gonna sell blanks to everyone until they get tired of not killing anyone anymore. Like all these people do is just talk shit about the fact they got Mason Ramsey to sing the song and then just announce to everyone that they're not gonna eat at Burger King anymore. Good, you're not fit to eat at the King's Castle, you peasant. You probably think going to Sizzler is a fancy night out with your broke ass. Like all these people who are saying this is Burger King propaganda and whatnot, obviously cannot comprehend a simple children's commercial. You plant-eating pussies always complain that raising cattle is bad for the environment. Well, they've already made that into a billion dollar industry, so unless you have money to speed that reversal, that's not gonna be a simple feat to accomplish. Instead, they came up with a compromise. They said, since all you guys do is complain and expect to get your way like a child with severe autism, they'll meet you halfway and not stop selling meat, but make sure that meat pollutes the world less when it's alive. But then what do these anti-meat people do? Cry and bitch like if these animals stopped getting killed for food, they'd stop getting killed altogether. I don't know if you ever heard about poaching, but once you start making these animals off limits to kill, that's when they start getting killed. And it's not gonna be in the humane way they do now. They're gonna get sniped from 400 yards and it's gonna take about three shots to get that big bitch down. Trust me, I live by some cows and kicking them does absolutely nothing except sprain the foot of the person who kicked the cow. But yeah guys, that's it. Personally, I thought the commercial was cool. It's like, they don't wanna talk about how they found out they can help as much as you don't wanna hear it. I still can't get over the comments that are being left on the videos though. Here's one more because I have a good joke to go along with it. This shows how much BK is for business. Why wouldn't you stop using cows if they are causing so much damage? Because if we stopped eating meat, we'd look like you. And you look like Ben Roethlisberger when he was accused of sexual assault. Peace. Peace.